Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another one. Today, we're going goose hunting again on my favorite field, the one that I hunt all the time. Kind of all the time. Seems like whenever I go, this is the one I go to. Uh, it's had a feed in it about the last week, uh, anywhere from three to 800. Should be pretty decent. There's a lot of birds that are trafficking over it as well. So that's, that's a good thing. Uh, there's gonna be five or six of us, I'm not sure. And today, I wanted to do something different. I don't want to call it cheapest, but maybe more affordable beginner gear for waterfowl type thing. Uh, we've got, you know, handful of decoys. I'm using my first shotgun. It's an old 870. Um, I mean, it's just a trusty, rusty pump shotgun. I think you can get them, a lot of times you can find them for about 200 bucks. Like they're pretty cheap, uh, but they are so reliable and good. Uh, what else we got? I'm just gonna be using Blue Box Federal Shells, which are like 11 or $12 a box. Anyway, I'm actually a little bit late to the show, like normal. All right, uh, we're finally set up. It's actually shooting right up, shooting light already. Can't speak. Um, I will show you everything once we can actually see. More you guys can see, I can see fine. Uh, there is a bunch of birds roosting on the pond. I really didn't plan on it. I had a sneaky suspicion that they would be there, but there are. But I did hear some specs, and specs are open again, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, I will show you all of our gear. Actually, I think I'm one of three people running pumps today. So, you know, you're gonna hear a lot of that. Because it's gonna be fun. Anyway, see you guys in a bit. Okay, there it is. My first shotgun ever. The old trusty 870. It's a cheap gun, like I said earlier, you can pick them up for normally about two, find a real nice one, 300 bucks. They're really pretty inexpensive and you really can't break them. Like I've not really tried, but I've, I've abused it a lot. And there's lots of traffic going by, so. But yeah, but as far as dependability and everything, I, I don't know. I mean, you guys tell me, is there one that's better? Is there an easier to use more dependable gun than that one right there. Hi, Mossberg guys. They're gonna go sit on the pond, aren't they? Oh, they're already like saying please more. We are not the sounds you're looking for. Show. That was really hard. Well, on the bright side, the roost is building. <laughs> Light calling, maybe? Wonder if we were too noisy earlier. Ooh. Ooh. And then they saw the pond and were like, let's go hang out with them. We'll get them sometime. Flipping and stuff. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
These are all the birds up the pond. Cut them off just like that. I forgot I was shooting the pump for a little bit. That was horrible. <laughs> oh, oh boy. You probably should have killed him, but you know, there's still a prayer. <laughs> Honkers. If they land, we'll let them, but if they don't want to land, we'll kill them. Man, that's just a touch out there. Yeah. They come over, let's kill them. All right, let's get them. Alright, kill him, kill him, kill him! Heck yeah, heck yeah! Go down! He's hurt. Oh. Thought I might have to shoot him again. Doesn't look like it. All right, that's a big boy. That's a big old boy. I mean, we can talk to him, just don't go crazy. I can't see, I'm too short. They're too low, they're low. No, don't go on that side. Ready? Kill him, guys! Baby. I think it helped. That one took all three. I think it helped you with that second. Woo! Oh, hey, a couple more big birds. Let's go get them. Uh, actually, I, they're probably not that big. As you guys can tell, I'm not used to shooting this gun at all. Excuses, excuses, but man, I'll get them though. I'll get there. Sneaky McFadden. Really gonna let me get this close? And one's feeding.
get up there. Well, they were comfortable. <laughs> Oh yeah, two shells in. Well, while there's a little lull in the action, let me show you guys the spread we're working with. 100% dive bomb socks and silos. Look at that. Uh, this is, let's see, my 15 dozen, and I think we have another 10, something like that. Um, initially, I thought we'd have to do a bunch of trafficking on this field, and so I'd set some family groups sort of out and about. Yeah, they landed with the families. I think we're maybe a little bit closer to the road than what they would really prefer. Um, because of the geese roosting on the pond, we decided not to set up over against the pond and we're side shooting them. Well, so far it's not working out quite like I envisioned, but hey, you don't know until you try. So uh, yeah, I mean, you saw how comfy those two that landed out there with that family group, super comfy. Before I show you our hide situation, everybody in the blind is shooting a pump today. Didn't necessarily plan it that way, but that's how it happened. You guys have already seen my gun. Let's see if we can look at everyone else's. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. What do you got there? Good old 870 pump, man. Oh, yeah. Mm. Tried and true. Tried and true. And you've probably had that thing forever. Probably about 11, 12 years, I think. And it's probably always worked. It has. I bought it used for 219 bucks. See? Heck of a deal. I mean, they're going to last you forever. And they shoot. I mean, they shoot, but I apparently can't hit crap with them. Obviously. I've gotten spoiled, but anyways. The Belly Supernova. The Supernova. We've had it for like three or four years, haven't given me too many issues, so I like it. Perfect. Vanilla Nova. And a Nova. Yeah. A couple of buddies of mine have, the, a couple <laughs> of buddies of mine have Novas. And I haven't shot them in a long time. Uh, I think my cousin and his, no, two of my cousins have them also. They love them too, so another good option for you guys. Pumps, you don't have to have a semi-auto to hunt ducks or geese. A lot of people are way more conservative with ammo, shoot better, and save some money shooting pumps. Mm-hmm. 
Some? Nice. There we go. Holy cow! That is a little one. Oh my goodness. That is a little bird. Here you go. I gotta go tiny. run out in the middle of that guy is tiny, tiny, tiny. There's another one. We got a bird way out there that I gotta go get. Oh don't make me run. No, 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 no. I'm fat, dude. Don't make me do this. <sighs> Got him. No band. <sighs> Thumbs up, guys. All right, I gotta walk back to the blind. <laughs> okay, guys, we are done. We didn't live it out, but we had a great time. I mean, we got some honkers. We got some lessers. Look at this little guy. We guys saw him out there in the field. Look how tiny he is. Holy cow. We're gonna set him next to this honker real quick and I'll just show you guys. There, there's ducks out there that are bigger than that. Cool little bird. Anyway, uh, we're gonna get picked up. But again, guys, you do not need a huge budget to hunt geese. For instance, these dive bombs out here. You don't even have to have a truck to have these. You can hunt with these out of your car, like these here. I do a bunch of my little solo hunts with five dozen dive bombs. The link will be in the description. Uh, you guys go on down, check out dive bomb. Uh, but shoot, I normally run five to 10 dozen dive bomb silos when I'm hunting like me to three, four guys. It really doesn't take much. You can do a lot with just a few. I mean, shoot, just one bag of five dozen goes real far. The shotgun, I mean, you guys know, just a plain gen, you don't need anything fancy. Just learn how to shoot it. Obviously I haven't shot that thing in a long time and it showed and I did not shoot well. But hey, we still got a few birds down. I had a great time. These here, uh, I think I normally, I think last time I bought these off of Rogers. I had some BBs left. Uh, I normally like twos. I've switched pretty much all over to twos and fours. Uh, twos for geese, fours for ducks. And I mean, if I remember right, if you get them on sale, they're like, 10 to 12 bucks a box. They're really not that expensive uh, compared to a lot of other stuff. I mean, you can get nicer, bigger shells. I use these almost all the time. I think they're great. So call wise, so like this Mulkey here, uh, I think that was like a $140 call, 120, I forget. It was, it felt like a lot. This one here, like half price of that. It's not the best, but it's easy to blow. And I mean, it'll get the job done, obviously. It's, it's worked for me all year, uh, especially helped me a lot learning because I tend to blow a little too hard or not hard enough and it's real real gracious to make it sound really decent like not good you guys heard that but it'll get me by anyway nothing fancy we gotta get picked up get out of here uh yeah we'll see you guys in a bit well guys that was the little budget goose hunt uh yeah obviously I'm pretty rusty with a pump but hey it was a fun hunt it I mean, we didn't limit out we shot 15, 15 or so, something like that. But it's nothing to complain about. We had a good time, great time out there with buddies. Anyway, if you guys did like that, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. Uh, there's a lot of links down there in the description. Shot Cam, who is having a you know Valentine's Day sale coming up here pretty soon. Um, yeah, make sure you go check them out here very, very shortly. Uh, also, dive bombs down there. Make sure you guys check that out. That's that's where it's at. Um, if you want some decoys that you know you can get in and out real easy, hard to beat their silos. Anyway, enough of me talking. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Uh, you guys have a good one. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.